Hi everybody, Space Junkie 79 here. Hope you're all keeping well. Uh, so this is the next stage of our journey, our new player's guide. Uh, we've obviously covered what to do when you first start. Um, we've also done obviously how to fly the ship, how to use the star map. We've done a good bunkers guide. Uh, we've done a rock mining guide. This one is all about bounty hunting. Now, this is all, uh, as you know, new to me. Um, I'm not going to say I'm a great pilot, but obviously I will uh, talk you through obviously the basics that I know and obviously uh, what we can do to obviously uh, hopefully get ourselves on that road to obviously uh, getting ourselves some good bounty kills and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we are going to be starting out in uh, my Aurora again. So this is the starter ship. Um, not, um, you know, bought anything special to do these low risk targets, but let's get started. Now let's get in our ship. So what we need to do first of all is once again that is go into our Moby glass. So F1. Uh, I'm sure you remember from the bunkers guide what you want to be doing again is select selecting that a call to arms. Because again, once again, half of these people that we're going to be killing have got crime stats, they're gonna be nine tails. So again, there's extra bunny uh, money you can be earning here. So make sure obviously you do select that before obviously any contracts. Um it is very, very similar to obviously the uh, bunkers and all that sort of stuff so once again in your delphi tracker uh, once you go in there obviously you can see you are bounty hunting guild uh and all that sort of stuff regarding blackjack there is also the bounty hunters guild here as well so uh, as you can see i haven't really done a lot i've had a little bit of a practice so i don't look um on the before the wipe uh, i haven't done anything since i need to do obviously my tracker permit and all that sort of stuff once again so once you go to the contract manager we're going to go to Bounty Hunter and obviously we're going to select the Tracker Training Permit Certification. So we have to pay for this one because obviously it is a, uh, a mission that obviously we've got to pay for obviously to get our license. So once you've done that, don't forget obviously you will be tracking still a call to arms. So if you untrack the call to arms, go into the Bounty Hunter screen and we want to track this so then we know obviously know where to go. Okay, uh, so it works very, very similar to the bunkers guides and that sort of stuff it's just a case obviously once again the further we get up the tree and the ladder we obviously get to uh, earn ourselves some more money two different types you obviously you've got the apprehend obviously the people in space and then you've also got to apprehend the people that are obviously in bunkers and that sort of stuff you've got ai targets as well as player targets uh, so uh, yeah Obviously, the player targets will obviously be a little bit more tricky than obviously the AI targets. So just bear that in mind once we get going. So unfortunately, with this, what you will notice is when you do these bounty hunter missions, the the players could be absolutely anywhere on the map. So it does sometimes mean a fair bit of travel. So I'm going to make my way across to Mark Tech, and obviously we'll pick this video back up once we're there. Okay, so we've arrived at our destination. Um, obviously, we are 246 uh, kilometers out from obviously our target's position. Now, there's some important bits we need to go through before we get started. Um, obviously, you do have a very, very limited supply of missiles on our little starter ships. Um, if you use your middle mouse button, you can see here it brings up the missiles. You can load two three, four missiles, depending on what ship you have, but our little starter ships probably fire only one or two at the beginning. If you push G, as you can see, it will load a second missile just here. If you want to take it back just to one, push G again. And again, push the middle mouse button just to cycle back out to the full dog repeaters, which is what I've got equipped here. Obviously, once we've got full dog repeaters on either side, we've got 81 OK shots before obviously they run out and need to recharge. So obviously, again, just keep that in mind. We have decoys. Now, to operate your decoys, you use H. Okay, so just use H. If you get a missile coming at you, uh, use press H once. Obviously, just launches one. If you hold it for a few seconds, it does. A, it launches a few countermeasures. Okay. You also have a noise decoy, which is J. All right. So once again, H for normal decoys, and that the noise decoy is J. All right. Just there. Now, when we do get near our target, you will see here, the actual target will appear on here. So we can actually monitor his actual uh, shield status and obviously watch that go down. On our ship, this is our shields. 
what happens is these reduce and get smaller and smaller and smaller until they turn red and eventually they will disappear and you'll start seeing the actual hull of our ship taking damage to the point where we could lose wings and all sorts and then obviously the ship becomes very very difficult to control uh there there are things you can do to obviously change the actual power outputs at the minute guys obviously we're doing a very very low risk target so just leave it as is uh maybe we'll do a bit more of a comprehensive guide obviously once uh, we we're past this sort of stage but for now just leave this all set as balanced all right um so let's find our way to our target there are different targeting modes now again depending on your ship that you have if you push g there is something called gimbal mode now if your ship has it it pretty much it's like a computer system that will pretty much automatically track the target for you uh, and obviously you can just it gives you a lot easier to tell when obviously when to fire or when not to fire so that's obviously quite helpful if you push g again it takes us back out now this is just a normal sort of pips target and what will happen is you'll have like a square that will come up that you need to get your crosshairs in to be able to obviously again highlight for you to when to shoot but you need to get this target inside the square when you're obviously near the actual target for actually for the hits to count so again it's something there is a bit of an aid which is quite nice this obviously sometimes you've got to lead the target to get the hits on because obviously these uh you know these ships travel at such a rate of speed it can be a little bit tricky to obviously get the, the hits on all right but hopefully this will all make a bit more sense once we get started now once we're near our target we want to push t to target okay so once we're near the actual target we push t to lock on which makes it a little bit easier to track it uh, and i think if there's more than one target you can cycle through the different targets by pushing four all right but let's uh, let's make our way to our target now i do normally use sticks to fly however obviously for the tutorial because everyone else is going to be on the same boat I'm going to be using my mouse and keyboard. Something also keep an eye on is your thrust speed. Now, it's not like, how can I describe this? Um, any sort of flight simulator where you'd fly up behind, you know, any, enemy aircraft and you get to dogfight behind and you just got to follow it around and try and shoot way behind it. These things move in so many different directions. I would say it's more like, um, I don't know, sort of flying past, get your shots in, fly back, go back again, get more shots in. It's a bit more of a, a joust, I'd say, than anything else. Uh, so, yeah, it's not really where you know, you're going to fly around, you're going to track the target, try and get behind it. Sometimes you can, uh, and obviously, but it's, it's very unlikely. So, again, not too much thrust. The more thrust you have, obviously, it makes it a little bit harder. And obviously, again, sometimes you need to boost in, boost out. If we're taking a load of damage, there's no harm in obviously just backing out of there. Get yourself away from the actual ships that's firing at you. Give your shields a chance to regenerate before obviously coming back to the fight. Because obviously at the end of the day, all you're going to do, you're just going to blow up. So let's, let's play it sensibly. Let's play it tactically. Uh, get yourselves out if you're taking loads and loads of damage. And come back in for another go once obviously our shields are repaired. So let's get ourselves to our target. Let's see how we get on. As I say, I, uh, I'm not the, the greatest pilot, so this could be quite interesting. And again, with these bounty missions, you, there's not always jump sites to be able to get directly to their location. So it could be just a case of, you know, you're going to have to fly certain points of the actual planets just to get to them as well, okay? Just so you know. Okay, guys, so we've uh, nearly are at our target now. So we're just going to make our way to him. Uh, or her. So we've just gone through atmosphere, just making our way down to the target. Just going to increase our thrust around two, two fifty, between 200 to 300. Uh, hopefully that's uh, a good good place to be. Uh, so we're just going to make our way there now. In a second they should come into into target. Here we go. See, we're nearly there. Now, I push T to target. So there's two bogeys there. I think they're just flashed up. So as you can see now, in this target down here we can actually see his shield status so that's where obviously we're what's important to us we need to know how much uh, he's got and now he's just scanned us so again you'll know when there's a missile coming at us because obviously there it'll all count down and the beeps will get quicker and quicker and quicker when we want to launch a decoy so we're just going to head in see how we get on again if you want to use your missiles you can track them and that's how the missiles work he's launched the missile at us 
There you go. So we successfully evaded that. I'm just going to go back to the Bulldog Repeaters. Actually, I'm just going to see if we just took a little bit of damage there. Now, obviously, we are in atmosphere, so we've got to be very careful of the ground, which is obviously something else to think of. Now, what you see that square there? It turned green as we're obviously getting near him. So, as you can see there, when we when's the best time to fire, it turns green. We do have more than one person on us. We've got obviously he's got some friends in in with him as well. So if we need to, we just boost away a little bit, give ourselves a bit of breathing space, bring ourselves around for another pass. As I say, I'm not used to uh, keyboard and mouse as the controls. So his friend is giving us a bit of trouble here. I'm gonna boost away again. Give our chance it builds up a little bit. Giving chase. Now what you can do, don't forget we can switch to gimbal mode, which is this here. So this is pretty much the targeting system. And what you'll find is as you just saw there, they will pretty much come flying directly at you. See if we can go manoeuvre out of these. Now we've got no shields whatsoever. So we're in a bit of trouble here. We can't boost away again. Not careful, we're going to lose a wing. Now we've lost one of our guns. Shields now his shields are red. We're getting him slowly but surely. One thing, obviously, to keep in mind here is obviously the grounds. Something else we've got to be careful of. Not only are we taking loads of fire, we've also got to be careful of the ground because obviously we quite easily plummet into the ground. A bit more, hang a bit now. Slowly boost away. Right, there we go. So he's down. Now hopefully, we can get away from his mate who's still trying to kill us. See if we can take him out as well. Where is he? P to target again. Now again, I guess if you roll and all that sort of stuff, it will make you a little bit more of a harder target to hit. And again, we need to boost fast and that sort of stuff. So this little pilot is been quite tricky for us. We haven't made it easy for ourselves, obviously only having one gun. Again, guys, you know, I'm not the best pilot here. I've got no, no claims to uh, try and prove otherwise. But we, we did manage to survive, only just. Gonna swing back around on us. And we're just gonna try and avoid him. We've got ourselves a bit of a boost. See, 
this is obviously again still in the gimbal mode. Quite a nice little tracking system. There we go. So, probably not the best construction you've ever seen regarding how to dogfight and that sort of stuff, but we made it work. Um, so, that is how you do the jousting and that sort of stuff. Um, we got ourselves in a bit of trouble, but we did survive. Poor little ships, we've got a few holes in it. We've got all our wings and that sort of stuff. We did we did lose one of our um, actual repeaters, but it's not too bad. Um, so, as you can see here, this is the, uh, the state of our ship. We're a, bit, we're a bit red, a bit battered. But we made it work, which is the main thing. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to fly back to a uh, one of the state stations around uh, Microtech. Get ourselves repaired and see what else we've got mission wise that we might be able to pick up. So I will catch you guys once we're back there. Speak to you in a sec. Okay, so we made ourselves uh, back to Port Trezor. We've fixed our ships. Now, what's happened is if we go back to our Moby Glass, go to our contracts manager, uh, look up Bounty Hunter. It has opened up obviously a lot more contracts here. So, what we're going to do is, um, we're going to do a ground one now. So, obviously, we're going to be after a target that's in a facility. Okay, so, uh, what we've we got here, an active bounty evaluation. Microtech protection services is needed for a bounty to expand our existing roster to evaluate your skills. We'd like to use in Remy Baloy. <laughs> um, also, guys, when it's two separate names like that, I think you'll find that is nine times out of ten, that will be AI. If it's a, a name, obviously, you all join together and that sort of stuff. That's when you know it's a player. Or you can do, obviously, F11 and just search for the player's name in the list. So a couple of easy little ways just to check there. So we're going to take this bounty on. We'll accept this one. We are tracking it. So once again, we know where to go. Now, what you need to do, obviously, regarding gear. So what we've done is I've bought myself a little bit of armor. Got ourselves a backpack, a bit of ammo, also bought us a, a med pen, another bit of ammo, and obviously a gun as well. So that's that. So that's our guy all kitted up. Now, depending if you want to stay in the area, and obviously just in case we do die, it may be a very good idea to set yourself a regeneration point. Uh, I can remember where they are. To set ourselves a regen point actually here but the last thing we want to do is end up all the way back at our other location we're going to transfer our imprint now something else you can buy if you wish rather than a med pen it's actually in the med gun so if we come here personal weapons we'll buy one of these goodbye and obviously get a refill as well we go to our infantry. Here's our med gun. Let's get our ship. Let's head to our target. Hopefully take him out. So I will make our way to the actual area and I'll bring you guys back for that bit. See you in a sec. Right, so we've arrived at the planet. Uh, this time we have got a jump marker we can jump to, which will make it a little bit easier. We're just going to shoot ourselves to there. Now do keep in mind that because this facility is run by a criminal gang or nine towns or something like that, we will get engaged as soon as we get near it. So chances are the turrets are going to fire at us. Do keep that in mind. So don't go flying in and try to land right outside the building. Because we'll probably get fired at. But we'll soon find out if we get radar. Ships all repaired. Cost us uh, 8,000 to repair the ship. There's the facility. Now around this sort of distance, we will get radar lock. How oh, the storm's blowing, it's uh, blowing the ship all over the place. Okay, it's literally just about to radar lock us then. Not quite sure how close I'm going to be able to get us here. And in for any sort of possible locations we might be able to get to. 
can't really see. Surprised we're not being targeted. Here we go. There is only one turret there, so what we can do, we go right up the back here. Park. Can't actually target the ship. Okay, so we can actually do that. There's only one turret. Obviously, if there's any more than one turret, you can't do this because it will, they will obviously get the ship. But yeah, we're quite safe here. So let's get out. Bear in mind, these uh, little start ships don't last long when we're under actual fire from the turret. So. Here's our ship. Right. Go and find Remy. So, if we hold F and number one, it brings up the quick wheel so we can quickly grab our gun, grab the med gun. Okay, so it's nice and easy just like that. We do grab the med gun, and if we need to heal ourselves, if you push B, okay and then also use your left mouse button obviously fire the uh the pistol into your wrist will actually heal us or if we've got obviously the actual med pens which we've got here c left mouse button again we'll actually medicate ourselves and obviously heal ourselves there so we're going to switch back to our gun here we go we're going to send ourselves down to the sub level anyone down here is bad so weapons free Have all these little bodyguards around him. Again. Don't rush, take your time. It's like someone's already died here. There's a gun there on the floor. Person there. Helps if we actually have a magazine. One down. There's Remy right down the back there, as we can see. You may respond to our shots. The height. Don't be frightened. Oh, don't be frightened to use cover. There we go. Remy is no more. The player there. So we're just going to do a sweep of the facility. Yep, there's another nine tower in the middle. Oh, server's lagging a bit, as you can see. Suddenly sided, they're all going to come running up the middle. I think they have one more. And use the cover. Server, as always, when I'm trying to do this sort of thing, starts messing around. Get the rest of the facility. What I do is, I'm actually going to grab another gun. Right here. Oh, look, all downstairs, but quite a few of them. Three of them down there. Don't forget when you are using cover, if you use um, Q and E, you can actually peek around the the actual cover. So if we crouch down here, if we hold Q, you can actually peek around the corner. Same for E as well. Again, you can actually keep yourself quite well sheltered there. Behind cover at all times. So down. The server's caught up. Oh no, another one there. Just be careful if the server's lagging a little bit, because as I say, it does mean obviously these can just suddenly spawn. Also, if the server is performing particularly bad, then obviously uh, they can obviously um, get very accurate with their shooting. Always check there's none left before you loot all the bodies and that sort of stuff. Do suddenly creep up on you, or you know it, you're dead, and then need to be saved. When you're playing single player on your own, that does make it a little bit. Don't forget, you can open their armour, obviously see what they got inside. He's got uh, a little toy gun, I think that is, by the looks of it, is it? Toy pistol. Decent sight as well. Yeah. That's got our inventory. Always good to have a little backpack on. You can actually grab all the bits and pieces. 
No, you won't. Damn it. But there were quite a few nine tails here, so you do need to be on guard. They were being quite responsive. You'd always just be a little bit careful. Boots him as well. Target up. Then. Four player. Okay. Yeah. Good pen though. So well guys, that's a, uh, another video done for you. Hope it's been of obviously some help. Um, please do continue to obviously like uh, and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate all the support obviously it's had so far. Um, it's far surpassed anything I thought it would at this stage. So please do keep liking and obviously subscribing. Um, I'll get this video out there and I hope you enjoy this one as well. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Many thanks. Bye for now.